this video guys I'll show you how to use iPhone as a webcam into your MacBook computer so if you have a MacBook computer and you have already installed and downloaded the new macOS version which is the macOS Ventura 13.0 is a new MacBook update and it has a lot of new features and one of these features is to use your iPhone as a webcam I really recommend you to do this update and to get the new uh, update for macOS Ventura because it has a lot of new features what you have to do is just to go to general and go to software update and you'll get the new update for macOS Ventura but I have already installed it and I'll show you today the new features which is to connect your iPhone with your MacBook and use it as a webcam so this is going to be very mind-blowing it has a lot of new features a lot of things that you can do with that and I'll show you today how to use that So the first thing is to go to your iPhone and you have to make sure to turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So here is my iPhone. I'll show you right now what I have to do. So just go to control center and make sure you have Wi-Fi connected. Make sure to both laptop, MacBook laptop and your iPhone is connected to the same Wi-Fi. So this needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. And also you have to make sure you have Bluetooth turned on. The next thing you have to do is just to go to the settings and you have to scroll down to general and go to airplay and handoff you have to make sure you have continuity camera turn on so make sure to turn on this feature and that's all that's all you have to do with your iPhone and what I have to do now is just to go to your MacBook I'll disconnect it and here I'll use one of my screen recorders here just to, to show you how you can do that so what I have to do is just open I'll open OBS you can download OBS for your uh, computer also from Google just search for OBS download and you can download it or you can use any other screen recorder just to show you on or use it to record your face as a webcam and also record your screen and what you have to do here on OBS you just have to click this plus button and make sure to click on on video capture device and click on OK then here when you click on the scroll down you can see you have FaceTime uh, HD camera which is the camera of your MacBook and also you have my if this is a ready camera which is my iPhone you will you probably will see uh, your iPhone's camera or something like that so just choose this option and click on OK as soon as you choose this option on your phone will show a screen connected to your MacBook computer and now you can use your camera so as you can see here this is my uh, camera and um, this is from my iPhone I'll put it on my stand actually so I'll put it on my camera stand okay guys I just put my iPhone into the stand of my, of my, my camera stand here and I'll also turn on the lighting Okay, this is my iPhone camera and is already connected to the MacBook and I'm showing it through OBS. This is exactly what you want. I know you want this feature to use your camera for your OBS as a webcam and get their very high quality. Here now I'll show you something really, really good and really mind blowing. Now you can move this, you can put anywhere you want, but I will zoom it just to show you. And as you can see here, I got a notification showing that you have to unlock your camera, your iPhone to use continuity camera to your MacBook and connect it together so now what you, what you can do is just to go to the control center on your MacBook and here you, you'll see video effects is a new uh, thing is a new feature that comes with macOS Ventura so just click on that and you can see some options here you have center stage which is a very very good option that you can use a very very nice feature what this does actually is that it follows your face anywhere you go so anywhere you move so I'll show you right now what I mean by this so if I move my face here as you can see the camera moves but it's not actually moving the camera is the the center stage feature that is moving that I'm not moving the camera I'm not doing anything as you can see it moves moves around and even if I go and stand up it's still moving and if I move on this side as you can see it's still following my face and it's following my uh, the camera is following me so this is the center stage feature is really nice and as you can see it moves again to any place anywhere I want and 
This is a really good feature if you want to use to follow your face around if you move a lot during their webcam or during the recordings or your live stream. And also another feature is that you can use portrait mode. It's really nice. You can use just turn on portrait. As you can see here, I'm in a portrait mode. It doesn't work really good like a professional camera, but still it does a really great job and it's a really nice feature. So as you can see, the background is blurred and the side, the background is blurred and my face is focused. So this is a really nice feature, it's really mind blowing. And also you have a studio light. This is a really good effect that you can use and shows me light up my face and the background is it has more low light. So this is a really nice feature too and you can also use that or you can maybe turn off the portrait and leave it just like that. I really like this options. And probably I'm going to be using it to record the next video. So it's really nice. So from this feature that you can connect your iPhone with a MacBook as a webcam is not all of that is also another feature that I want to show you right now. It's really mind blowing. I don't really know how Apple or how they did this. It's a really nice feature. As you can see here, we, you can see a desk view. So as soon as you click on that, just click on the desk view and it's going to show you this screen. And what you have to do is just to click on start desk view. So just click on start desk view. And as you can see, it shows my desk. I didn't move the camera. I didn't cut the video. I didn't do anything. It's directly showing my desk here. As you can see, here's my MacBook laptop. And as you can see, it's showing my desk. And probably if you are using or you want to uh, do any live stream or something that you want to show your desk or you are drawing something on the table or in, on your desk and you want to show it to your viewers what you can do is just turn on the desk view and this it is going to directly show your camera into the desk and the iphone didn't move the iphone is in my stand right now and is not doing anything else it's just standing there and the camera or the algorithms of the camera or the, this feature are moving, are capturing only the place on my desk and not anything else. And if I move back to OBS, I still have the screen here. I still have the stage manager. I still have the studio light and everything. It's a really nice feature. I'm really impressed with, with what Apple did with this feature and with a new macOS Ventura, which you can install it for free. Just go to settings, search for new update, and you'll probably get it if you have a new MacBook computer. This was the feature for the day, guys. You can use this and you can do a lot of things with this camera feature. And you, it's very high quality and really with high FPS, as you can see, it's not even lagging on something. It can last for a long time as soon as you have charging or you have battery onto your iPhone. Okay guys, this was the feature I wanted to show you today. If you like this, if it was helpful for you, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll do another video on the new features about the macOS Ventura because it has a lot of new features that I want to show you up. But this was very amazing and I wanted to show you that this because I know a lot of people are in need on this because you don't have to pay or you have to buy a new professional camera that you can connect with your computer but you can use your iPhone with a very high quality and you can use that to record to stream or do anything you want okay guys see you in the next videos peace